Had a dream last night, you weren't around, and when I woke up, I was down. But then I climbed in this truck, and I can't tell you where I found this luck. The average person would know those are the lyrics to Ain't No Cure by Gavin Adcock. But for Reed's Puffer Football, it's the song that brings the team together. Head coach Cody Cater says while it is a love song, it is kind of a journey of football for the team. A team looking to take the next step in 2024. The Pirates are coming off a 7-3 season that ended in a 29-20 playoff loss to Mona Shores in the district semifinals. The same point that the team ended its season in 2022. And there ain't no cure for a longer playoff run. Well, besides, like any love story, taking things one step at a time. Oh, it's a day-by-day -day approach, 100%. Uh, that is actually one of our sayings throughout our program is day-by-day. -day. I think we finally got to that probably last year, halfway through the season, that we stopped worrying about the result as much, and we we're worried about the uh, process. So the biggest thing we've been reading, chop wood, carry water as a group throughout camp, and I think our kids are really starting to understand, you know, what it means to just worry about that process on a day-by-day. NFL Detroit took down Kansas City 24 23 in preseason action tonight. But let's flash back nearly a week ago. Lions head coach Dan Campbell told reporters he was looking for a wide out to step up. The team does not necessarily have a wide receiver three, but tonight things may have changed. Isaiah Williams was the star of the show. Six catches and 71 yards for Detroit. Both were team highs. The rookie out of Illinois went undrafted, but was actually recruited to Illinois as a quarterback. Williams said after the game, quote, whatever you need me to do, coach, I can come through for you. That's what I wanted to show everyone. The 23-year-old is up to 10 catches and 106 yards in the preseason. We always put stock into the guys that are making plays, you know, and um, and he does. He is making play now. Now those are, you know, that's in the slot, that, which is where he really. That's that's where he excels. That's where his game is really uh, is suited for, and he's made the most of it, you know. And um, that's what's hard a little bit is like, man, he is a football player. He is making plays, but we got Saint, we got Leaf, you know. Um, and so where does that fit, you know? And some of it may need to be, well, can we put him outside? You know, what can you do at Z? Is that a possibility? Can he survive out there? And, but I know this, every challenge he's had, he's stepped up and made plays, you know? Finally, University of Michigan field hockey player Abby Tamer is back from Paris. Tamer played for Team USA field hockey. 13 on your side, caught up with her to discuss her experience. And you told me Team USA field hockey was a bit underrated going into Paris. The team finishing with one win, three losses, and a draw. Obviously, the team would have loved to make it further, but what did the team learn about itself through the Olympics? Yeah, I mean, that was all of our first Olympics, so getting that experience under our belt is going to be huge for the future. But I think we, we learned a lot of lessons, but one of the big ones was that you really need to take every moment as its own and you need to be super present because what we found ourselves doing was kind of looking towards the end um, when when it started to go downhill, and that's just not a positive way to, to do things. Um, but like I said, getting the experience under our belt is going to be huge for the future, and we know we're going to be at L.A., so it's just a, a matter of bringing that experience forward. Abby hopes to be in L.A. She said there's no stopping anytime soon. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.